These are the Three Sisters, a complex of volcanoes in central Oregon, east of Eugene, and the sisters have a tale to tell. In this color image, the land under the mountains is swelling up, even if just a little. It's been very, a very gradual onset. Emily Montgomery Brown is a research geophysicist for the Cascades Volcano Observatory in Vancouver, Washington. When this happens at volcanoes, there are often these pulses of lava that come in and accumulate under the volcano and they kind of push the, the top of the volcano out and it's very slight. And so all of that's happened in the last couple of months is just a couple of inches of the ground surface being lifted up. And that lava pool is around four miles below the surface. Scientists like Montgomery Brown can see that movement because of satellite tools like this. Also, this isn't the first time the ground has swelled. These GPS signals show a portion of that uplift that's been ratcheting upward for some 25 years. The total amount is about 30 centimeters, which is about the size of a two liter pop bottle. But an eruption needs more clues. Finding all those magnitude one and smaller earthquakes that show us where there's possibly activity in a volcano. Harold Tobin oversees the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network at the University of Washington. Rising ground is one sign that a volcano is growing restless. Another is earthquakes, a lot of small quakes, and that is not happening. But the sisters comprise part of a long chain of volcanoes in the northwest. And as we fly north, one has to wonder if they're all connected down below, including the biggest one, Mount Rainier. The individual volcanoes are all part of the Cascades chain, but they are individual volcanoes. They have separate sort of plumbing systems, if you will, of, of potential magma and such things. So something happening down there at Sisters in Oregon does not mean Mount Rainier is going to change its activity. They're unconnected at that level. So again, the Cascades Volcano Observatory tracks all of our volcanoes in Washington and Oregon, but they will also be sending out ground teams in the summer to keep an even closer eye on sisters once the snow melts. In Seattle, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.